Yeah, David, folks uh, may remember last February, we saw extended period of freezing cold temperatures here in the Portland area and Portland Fire and Rescue said at that time they responded to numerous calls of folks that had bursted pipes in their homes and they had to come out to those people's homes and shut their water off. Well, Portland Fire and Rescue hopes to get out in front of that before this winter storm. We had more than a couple dozen. We had into the hundreds over a 30 hour period. We approached 400 water responses last February. After the chaos during last year's winter storm, Portland Fire and Rescue spokesperson Rick Graves wants homeowners to be prepared for freezing temperatures ahead. If you have a rupture, you're not going to know it until it heats up and then you need to know how to shut your water off. So you reduce the amount of time you've got water flow, open water flow in your home or business um, with us limited on responses. Graves says it's important for homeowners to find and mark their outdoor water supply shutoff valve with something tall enough to be seen in the snow and then make sure you have a tool to shut the supply off. This is the key I own. I bought this at a hardware store here in town. 20 bucks. I set it right inside the gate of the fence that's closest to this valve box. So if I have an issue and I can't get to the shutoff valve in my home, I can get to the shutoff valve outside my home and stop the water flow. Graves admits that being prepared for the weather event itself is mostly what people focus on, but it's important to remember that problems can still happen when the storm passes. But the days I remember working hardest around a storm was the days it thawed because of the water rupturing rather than incidents that occurred as a result of the storm. Well, it's also important for homeowners to have that severe weather or that power outage kit ready to go at their homes in advance of a severe winter storm like this heading in. And we're going to go through exactly what items homeowners need to have in those kits coming up on KGW News at 6. So make sure you stick around for that.